Happy Vlogmas! Yes, that's right. The time has come. And this will be my first ever Vlogmas. I'm very excited. Also terrified. I don't know how this is gonna go, but you gotta try everything once, right? So this is my kind of intro to Vlogmas. I thought I'd do my makeup while we kind of just talk about the month ahead and what I anticipate to be putting out there and um, some exciting news as well. So let's zoom up so I can show you my makeup. So we're gonna be using my Natasha Denona Metropolis palette, but I'll have everything linked down below um, as I do my makeup. I think I'm just gonna keep it pretty, uh, pretty neutral, I think. I'm feeling something pretty easy. Okay, so if you are new here, my name is Samantha. You'll be able to see that in my YouTube name, Izundu. My husband is Nigerian, if you are wondering. A lot of people wonder about that. They're like, where does that name come from? She looks super white and it's true, I am. I'm very Caucasian. My husband's Nigerian, so I have a Nigerian last name. I think it's pretty cool. I love my last name. It's way cooler than my maiden name, that's for sure. Okay, so Vlogmas. I have been pre-filming and I have a lot of videos. I, I mean, I might not be able to do the whole, is it 25 days or is it the 30 days? I actually don't know, but we're gonna go for 25 up until Christmas. I might do it, you know. I've already filmed half. I just gotta keep up the momentum. I started early. When I say I started early, I started about two weeks ago. Uh, because I am time poor, I have two children. One is four months old, one is three years old. So on the days my daughter is at daycare, which is today, um, I film. And I've made sure I've fed Muna, he's now playing just over there. And yeah, I do a lot, I have to do a lot of pre-planning, but I want to do it. I, uh, I watched a lot of Vlogmas last year and I was like, hmm, could I do that? Last year, I, I don't think I could have done it. I was working in retail at Christmas time, so I was working a lot and I just felt pregnant. So I was in my first trimester and I was so sick, but I couldn't tell anyone. So Vlogmas last year was an absolute no-no. So I thought this is the perfect time because I'm on maternity leave right now. I'm not technically at work. I'm at home with my baby. So I was like, let's take this opportunity and get it done, as they say in America. And so yeah, I mean, most of mine is gonna be beauty focused. Um, a sprinkle of fragrance. Oh my God, this palette is so good. Yeah, so if you have any suggestions of things you want to see, I'd love to hear it. And I love filming. It's the editing I don't love. <laughs> I don't hate it, but I much prefer the filming part because that's all about the makeup, you know. So exciting. I decided to do a giveaway. I have some things I've been saving and I thought I was going to wait till I got to 2000, but I thought a nice Christmas time giveaway would be perfect. Someone can get a nice Christmas gift. So that's what I'm gonna do. I think, I think I will do it international. Give everyone a fair chance. Um, I, I don't know when I'm gonna do that. So keep, keep a lookout for my videos um, for when I do a giveaway. It's gonna include, I'm probably gonna do it on Instagram because it's easier that way. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I have to make sure I have everything that I wanna put in it because there's a few more things that I wanna to get to add into it. Then I'll announce the giveaway and kind of show what's in the giveaway. Like right now, I can't show what's in the giveaway. So that's my plan, which is fun. I've never done a giveaway before. I know that there's, um, yeah, that's why you do it on Instagram because you can collate your comments into a randomization, I think. So that's, I think that's what I'm gonna do. So if you don't already, you can follow me on Instagram, get a head start. I have everything linked down below. But yeah, no, that'll be fun. That'll be fun. Love a good giveaway. God, these shimmers are insane. This whole palette is insane. I'm yet to find a shade I don't like. I don't think I will find a shade that I don't like. Okay, that's that palette done. I really wanted to do a really simple eye look. I'm just going to finish my eyes off camera and do my brows and I'll be right back. Okay, so let's 
to the face. I have the littlest bit. I'm trying to finish it. I don't know how many uses I've got of my Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. This is the oil free. I've probably got a few because we've got this part here that can be deceiving. You think that you're finished and then it just keeps going and going and going. <laughs> but I would love to finish this because I actually have another one that I got from work. <laughs> it's a different shade. This is the warm one, which is perfect for now. Going into the warmer season. And the other one is more cooler toned. And I can get away with both because it's a tinted moisturizer. But I do love it. But they've since um, changed the packaging. And this is the old packaging, which is why I got them from work. Uh, right, and then a concealer. I have my Too Faced Born This Way Multi Sculpting. I'm getting low. I'm really getting low. It's starting to happen. If I could finish this by the end of the year, I'm gonna like really try and focus on it. Cause I'm get, starting to get really low. <gasps> I'll be very excited if I, this was, I brought this into my project pen at the beginning of the year. If I finish it just before the end of the year, I will be so stoked. Cause you know, that didn't come in full. It came in like, I wanna say three quarters full. And now I reckon I've got less than a quarter, definitely less than a quarter, but it's hard to know because then you scrape and then all this product com comes and then you still got lots to go, but it's definitely getting there. Pretty proud of myself because that is like the Mount Everest of concealers. So with Vlogmas, I would lo love to know what channels you like to watch for Vlogmas, that like channels that are known for doing vlogmas. Um, I saw that Michelle Wong is going to be doing it. Her, she calls it Mishmas. My name does not go into any kind of festive title. So I'm just going to straight vlogmas. I thought about it and I was like, Samantha, Sammy Miss was the best that I could think of. And even that just doesn't sound good. <laughs> Uh, whereas Mishmas sounds so good, like that, that fits. Um, yeah, so I'll probably watch her. I saw some other ones that I don't watch a lot say they were gonna do Vlogmas. It's, it's a tricky one because you gotta have the time to do it. It's not easy. So I think a lot of people that do YouTube as a full time are doing it. If you don't do YouTube full time and you work, I think it's not doable at all. I'm just taking my opportunity and rolling it with it. I'm hoping that it challenges me and it's a way for me to kind of um, gauge what you guys like by the views that I get. So if one does really well, then I kind of know that that's what you guys like to watch. So I've done a lot of uh, makeup commentary. I'm doing a lot of holiday themed, like best. Um, I think this week I have one video that's like best holiday red lipsticks. You know, they, things like that, kind of holiday themed stuff. I thought about doing a vlog and then I was like, I don't do anything. I don't do anything. I just look after a baby all day. <laughs> I don't like going out too much because it's too hard, <laughs> if I'm honest. Uh, so I have a bit of powder. No, I'm not gonna powder yet. I'm gonna do my NARS uh, Laguna Cream Bronzer. Yeah, like people who vlog, they actually like, do things and if I do something it's like food shopping for my family I might see a friend but my friends don't want to be in my videos <laughs> so I wouldn't be able to do that um, it I, I would just be the most boring vlogger I would vlog if I went on a holiday but I'm not going on a holiday until March next year I'm going to Queensland and I'm staying in the Versace hotel maybe I should vlog it would you like me to vlog that? So my husband loves Versace. I love Versace too. I think it's a great brand. Um, but he loves Versace. So we got, um, you know, luxury escape deals. We got one of those. Oops. And we're going to be staying there for, I think it's three nights. But then we decided, because it's expensive, but then we decided to... Um, extend our holiday and stay somewhere else that's a bit cheaper um, on the Gold Coast. 
I don't know. We haven't booked anything and we haven't even booked our flights because, you know, I'm a bit scared. We actually had this booked when the pandemic first hit. When we went into first lockdown, we were supposed to go two days into the lockdown. I know, isn't that crazy? So we ended up just canceling it. Then we found this luxury escapes deal two years later. I have a running theme of when we book a holiday, lo a lockdown happens. So let's um, pray that nothing happens in March. <laughs> we should be right now that we're all vaccinated, but still <laughs> the fear inside of me. Um, so yeah, maybe I should vlog that. That could be fun. Cause I'll actually be doing something. What am I doing? What am I doing? And we plan on, because it's on that same road as all the theme parks are. Now, I don't want to go to all the theme parks. I'm not that kind of mama. I'm really sorry. Um, we will go to one. I would say I haven't been there since I was like a little kid. So I'm thinking SeaWorld because Ivy loves animals and she's only three. She's not going to go on the rides. Maybe movie well, but I don't think she'd really get a lot of it. She wouldn't understand a lot of that. She's not going to go on rides. So yeah, I'm thinking SeaWorld. Um, one that has, is like appropriate for a toddler, essentially. Um, one is going to get nothing out of it. <laughs> He's just going to be like there going like... He'll be six months old by the time we go on that holiday. <laughs> I can't believe it. No, he'll be more then. He'll be like almost five... Seven months old. Oh my God, my heart. That just hurt my heart. My baby's four months old now. But that's got nothing to do with Vlogmas, does it? See, I go on tangents. I'm a tangent talker. I'm a tangent talker with my friends and I'm a tangent talker in front of the camera. Oh, I've also got a really exciting um, collab. I don't know what you call it. My friend that I work with, she's a makeup artist. We're gonna collab together. And she's just fantastic. She's really good. So we're gonna do a video together and I'm gonna take some photos for her Instagram. So that'll be fun. I have never, ever had my makeup done professionally. For my wedding, I did my own makeup in half an hour. Half an hour, I did it. I know, amazing. <laughs> And okay, I'm gonna go in with um, my project pan bronze and I'm not gonna show it to you because I'm making progress and I do not want you to see it, okay? It's a secret, but it's a very fair. So it's nice with this bronzer because it just kind of like diffuses everything all into one rather than give it lots of color. So yes, I've got some, I'm going to do another declutter but I'm gonna do like a whole collection declutter. I'm not gonna space them out like I did last time because it's not that long, not that long ago since I did a declutter. And I'm not someone that is on like PR list and I get all this excessive makeup. All the makeup that I get, I buy. Or no, I do get stuff from work, but not really much anymore because I'm not working. I am doing that though, because I did feel like there were some things that I wanted to get rid of, enough to do a movie, a, movie, a video at least. So yeah, we've got a lot of variety of videos and I'm very excited. Um, I just have to remain very organized and I am an organized person. I can be a little bit all over the place, but I am generally an organized person. Um, baby brain throws me off because I am very kind of person and having baby brain is very frustrating for me because I can't remember things. Um, and I don't like it. So for blush, for blush, do I want this digital peach? That could be cute. Or do I want a cream? I think I want digital peach. This is a software blush from Lime Crime in a digital peach. Digital peach. I might just use this same brush. I reckon it'd be all right. Oh, cute. I will blend that, don't worry. I feel cute. Cutie patootie. I don't know what I look like in this tiny mirror. I'm <laughs> like trying to get a close up. It's so bright, I can't see myself properly. You know I love a good blush. I might just 
I always go too hard in this section here. That's better. I wanted to do a light dusting of finishing powder. This is the model's preferred mineral finishing veil. I'm just gonna kind of do that. I need to do it under my eyes with the eyeshadow and I need to set my brows, but I like to do that after all of this schmozzle lovely it feels so nice it's like therapy you putting a big brush all over your face do you guys like it i love it and um okay i'm gonna do quickly do my brows just putting a clear gel on there bit of highlight we have my revlon skin lights in daybreak oh, she's beautiful she's new to my collection and I appreciate her. Why am I doing that? Why do I talk about makeup like it's a person? That's a problem. But it is beautiful. Like, look at that. Wowza. I want to do a bit of setting spray before I do my mascara on my lower lash. This is a L'Oreal Shake and Glow. Lower lash line, let's get to it. Get into it, huh? Yeah, huh? Okay, and then we just have lips and perfume. Because, oh, I don't think you guys know, I've been doing them in other videos, but I've started to do perfume at the end of my video um, that suits the mood um, from my collection because I have a lot of minis like i have quite a lot so i have a lot of perfumes but a lot of them are in mini form that i get from work or i love to buy discovery sets um because i already have a lot of perfume i don't need full size bottles but anyway i'm diverting what i'm trying to say is i'm going to start doing perfume at the end of the video talk about the notes and why i like this perfume for this makeup look so give this a thumbs up and let me know if you like this idea i'm really into it personally <laughs> um, i'm going to do my lips before i do that though i've just got my little project pan uh, lip liner um, that kind of goes with everything and then i've got a then i've got a brand new lipstick that i haven't used from Beauty Bay, the Christmas collection. No, not Christmas, holiday. Okay. And I think I had foundation lips this whole way through the video, so I also apologize for that. Gross. So here we have my Beauty Bay Highball Cream Lipstick. Excuse me. Excuse me. I swear to God, makeup is so beautiful. And if anyone tells me otherwise, I will slap them in the face. Uh-huh. 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 This was made for this look. Oh my god. It's got a cream, but it's very matte. I'm not complaining. It looks nice. Kinda wish I got the three pack now. Like a few days after I bought this, they the three pack went on sale. With like $30 and I paid $15 for one. <laughs> love that for me. But I love this. This is this is guachas. Um, okay, perfume of the day is from Wilhelm Perfumery. I will put a picture up here of the full size bottle and this is the sh the shade. I'm in makeup mode. This is the scent Dear Polly. Now let's talk about Dear Polly. Wilhelm, he is, I think he's Dutch, but lives in either France or Belgium. I want to say Belgium. I can't remember exactly. Exactly. Um, oh my God, it's out of stock online. Oh, it's popular. The 50 and the 100 mil are both out of stock. I'm sure they'll be in store though. They are in quite a few stores. They're not in my store, unfortunately. I wish I had this in my store. Okay, so we have fragrant notes of bergamot, bergamot, bergamot. You're supposed to say bergamot, bergamot. Apple, Ceylon black tea, oak moss, musk, and black amber. Um, turn your morning beauty ritual. Oh my god, that's right now. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Into a seductive act with a spritz of dear Polly. Notes of bergamot, 
the an apple giveaway give way to perfectly bre perfectly brewed Ceylon black tea that instantly warms the skin while sensuous sensuous musk simmers below dip into this scent when you're in need of a pick-me-up first thing in the morning that is right now oh my god I, I understand why this is sold out it is phenomenal I really smell the black tea which I love tea notes in perfume it brings that freshness to anything that might be heavy I really smell the apple I feel like the apple is definitely one of the first things you smell oh gosh it's very it's a little bit gourmandy i don't know what it would be classified as it's very delicious smelling i think it's that apple and tea smell i can definitely smell the bergamot um and then i think it's going to dry down to oak moss musk and black amber because i can smell that amber in there that's going to dry down and it's going to be very nice and woody throughout the day but it's got that freshness first thing when you spray it and i am in love because this is the first time i've actually worn this one that was phenomenal okay recommend that one and that is everything for today guys i hope you enjoyed it i hope you enjoy vlogmas and I would love your feedback. Let me know how you think I'm going. Or if you have any more movie, why do I keep saying movie? Video suggestions, because I haven't finished filming. I've still, I've still got lots of work to do. Um, but yeah, I'd really appreciate anything, uh, any feedback. I would love your support. I'd love your support here, over on Instagram. I kind of do TikTok here and there. I used to be really into TikTok and then I started working and I fell off. Um, but anyway, that is everything. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.